don't be afraid to fall or to fail. That's the advice given by this country's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Trade, Commerce and Information Technology, Camilo Gonzalez, while delivering the feature address at the 2015 SVG Community College graduation ceremony earlier this week. Gonzalez told the graduating class that it matters not how often they fall, as long as they get up one more time. He further told the graduates not to fear falling. Instead, imagine themselves soaring like eagles with their wings unclipped to new and higher heights. I read somewhere a quote that says, you will have failures in your life, but it is what you do during those valleys that will determine the height of your peaks. I believe that, and you should too. I want to tell you something else that may not be very popular with this particular audience. Your parents want what's best for you, but they don't know what's best for you. You must continue to rely on them and benefit from their vast experiences and wisdom. But every one of you has a right and an obligation to decide your own destiny. This generation is not your parents' generation. And this world is changing so rapidly that it is almost unrecognizable to people who are just a few decades older than you are today. And Prime Minister Dr. Rav Gonzalez is assuring the nation's youths that he will not stop using the office of the Prime Minister to continue to make things easier and accessible to them. While delivering remarks at the 2015 SVG Community College graduating ceremony recently, Prime Minister Gonzalez told the students that there is no doubt that he loves that and that he loves them and he will continue to do the best to his ability to look out for the interest of the nation's youth. But I ask of you to give your best. I am very proud of you. I am very thankful for you. And I listen to my Father who is in heaven, and I know that he is pleased with you. Congratulations, and may God bless you. A developing story coming out of the North Leeward area is that the bodies of two young men were reportedly washed ashore earlier today, while a third is said to be in the waters as seen by some divers in the area. The circumstances surrounding their deaths are not known at this time. However, reports are that it might have been a drug-related incident gone bad. SVG TV News will bring you more on this story as further information comes to hand. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Commerce, Nathaniel Williams, is calling for business persons here to broaden their scope of export. Williams was addressing civil servants at a three-day workshop hosted by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Trade and Commerce and Information Technology in collaboration with the World Trade Organization, the WTO, the Caribbean Community CARICOM, Office of Trade Negotiation, and the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS Secretariat. The Permanent Secretary says there are lessons to be learned from expanding the territory for export, noting that the country needs to be able to provide for itself. Producing to supply our market, not simply producing to export, but producing to supply our market, producing to supply the OECS market, and producing to supply the CARICOM market even as we think about export within the, um, within the extra regional markets which are available to us based on the trade arrangements which we have. This is critical for us because what it does, it allows us as a country to begin to improve on standard and qualities as we look at supplying our own local market. It allows us to gain experiences necessary to compete in the wider global, global market when we begin to compete with like-size operation within the OECS. It is important to be able to improve upon the capacity and quality of the healthcare service here in SVG. So says the Pan-American Health Organization's country program specialist, Anik Wilson. 
Wilson was addressing the opening of a two-day workshop that began here yesterday on strengthening the response to the rising scourge of non-communicable diseases with particular focus on diabetes. She says that diabetes is an illness that is a gateway to other serious diseases such as kidney disease and can bring about the need for amputation which can affect the workforce and has the potential to significantly dent the nation's economy. Hence, capacity needs to be built to deal with such diseases. Now, the burden of disease associated with diabetes is substantial. At least one in 20 deaths worldwide is attributable to diabetes. In financial terms, direct health care costs range from 2.5% to 15% of annual health care budgets. And indirect costs such as loss of productivity may be five times the number. So persons who fail to come to work because they are ill, it accounts for about five times of 2.5 to 15 percent of annual health care. To take this exposure seriously, to see it as uh, exposure in where you can give your own ideas, you can come up with new innovations as we plan collectively to decrease the prevalence of chronic diseases with focus on diabetes in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. According to Wilson, diabetes is not about too much sugar in the blood. It is a deficiency, if not dealt with early, could cause irreparable damage to the body. Diabetes is often referred to as sugar. Diabetes describes really a group of metabolic dis diseases in which persons have a high blood sugar or a high blood glucose. Either because insulin production is inadequate or because the body's cells do not respond properly to insulin or both. Now patients with high blood sugar will typically experience varying signs and symptoms, and most of you are aware of it as healthcare personnel. Now this disease, if left undiagnosed or improperly managed, can lead to a number of complications. Therefore, what is the situation in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? As of the end of 2013, a total of 1,725 persons in St. Vincent and the Grenadines were registered as diabetics throughout healthcare centers in the country. NCDs are the leading cause of mortality and morbidity in the region, and in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, CARICOM member states reportedly have the highest burden of non-communicable diseases in the region of the Americas. The PAHO Country Program Specialists use the opportunity to encourage Vincentians who are at risk for diabetes or living with diabetes to adopt good lifestyle practices to avoid the disease becoming a doorway to other life-threatening illnesses. Now, as you all know, diabetes affects the entire body. It can cause blindness, it could cause heart attacks, it could cause kidney disease, and also amputation. Let us start then about the complications of diabetes. Diabetes increases the risk for many serious health problems. With the correct treatment and recommended lifestyle changes, many persons with diabetes are able to prevent or delay the onset of these complications, which include cardiovascular diseases, as I said before, diabetic disease or diabetic problems generally, nerve diseases or diabetic neuropathy, eye disease or diabetic retinopathy, pregnancy complications or amputation, of which we see most being to the lower limb. Welcome to Carnival Beat. Miss Carnival 2015 will not see the participation of Miss Dominican Republic as previously announced. 
According to a news release from the Carnival Development Corporation today, the DR representative, Ms. Leslie Bell Troncoso Rio, will not participate in the 2015 Miss Carnival pageant due to the death of her grandmother. The CDC says the contestant's mother, Hilary Rio Guerrero, her chaperone and her, and her are very sad at this time and cannot travel for the pageant. Miss Carvel 2015, slated for Friday, July 3rd, will now have a total of nine contestants. They are Anguilla, Fidalia Alter, Sharina Richardson, Antigua and Barbuda, Leander and Norville Barbados, Heidi Cherise Barrow, Dominica Odessa Mara Eli, Guyana Alicia Nicola Bess, St. Kitts and Nevis Tishima Alberta, Kathleen Brown, St. Lucia, Crystal Joycelyn Octave, Trinidad and Tobago, Afia Anisha Jeffrey, Miss SVG 2015, Deontay Azania Mez. The reigning Miss Carival 2014 is Francine Baron of Dominica. Contestants will arrive in the state on Monday, June 29th and leave on Saturday, July 4th, 2015. Two young soccer artists are trying their best to take it to the top of their game in the music industry. Big Raff, a graduate of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Technical College, is a total novice in the game. And Mad King, a second runner-up in the 2013 Junior Soca Monarch competition and a student at the community college. They are both from Trumaca. Both say they made a serious effort to produce quality music and played with DJs and radio announcers to give their music some airplay. Big Raff and Team. I am uh, Mad King. Um, the song I release um, Suffer Hills. And why you name a song like that, Suffer Hills? Well, I, I am from um, Rosebank, so um, each day I am, um, you know, the views that I, I have is um, from the last of Ray Volcano. So um, I just decided to um, build a song about that. How long have you guys been singing? Well, me, I'm four years now. Well, me, this is the first year. Okay. So I'm a rookie. So why, why did you want to? sing soca music and get into the soca business? Well, um, soca is our culture, so um, we want to be a part of St. Vincent and the Grenadines culture, so we want to add back something back to um, you know, our country and things, so that's the reason for me. For and me, well, I love music and the only music, as he says, soca, which is our culture, so I adapt to it and, you know. What are your ambitions? My ambition um, is up to be a um, I'm chipping, you know, that's my um, goal. So um, I'm attending um, technical college um, right now. So I'm um, in studying. Yeah. Okay. What are you studying? I'm sales and marketing. Nice. And you? Well, I finished college last year. I did office administration. I got my associate degree. But still, I would like, I would like to do music on this side and come back and help a lot of people. Okay. That's Anything else about the music business you want to talk about and say? Well, um, I just want to uh, approach some DJs. Um, never, never fight down a young, a young upcoming um, artist. Always, always check full because at the end of the day, we are the one who gonna really add back. You know, we are, we are the future. And you? So, you know, it, it don't make no sense we fight down us because we are always gonna come and we gonna always be there. Like, so when we try to push, they should help us as well instead of fight us down. Here's a sample of the talent the two youngsters shared with us. And they match out the cool rhythm, cool rhythm, cool rhythm. Cause we ain't tame, we ain't tame, we ain't tame. We bad down, we scary, nobody can tame me. Hey, we ain't tame, we ain't tame, we ain't tame. We bad down, we scary, nobody can tame me. This stage we a go jump on it, jump on it, jump on it, and then we a go stamp on it, stamp on it, stamp on it. The road we a go wave on it, wave on it, wave on it, and the girls them a go wine on it, wine on it, wine on it. Hey. Check out free on YouTube, Big Raff and team. Until then. All right, if you're done ready, fit for the walk. If you're ready, fit for the walk. If you're ready, fit for the walk. If you're ready, then let me say climbing so for hill it no easy. When I reach on top the hill up the breezy, I see down a well cause I weary. I met a woman, she come and help me. I tell she I want some water. She tell me she got no water. She say if you want the water, you will have to go down in the crater. I tell she I want some water. She tell me she got no water. She say if you want the water, you will have to go down in the crater. I want to go down in the crater. Come on, some water. I want to go down in the crater. Come and eat some water. I want to go down in the crater. Come on, some water. Really, want to go down in the crater? Why? Because my temperature. If you want to hear more, just check YouTube. Mark King Suffer Hills. Until then.